Hey everyone, welcome back. Uh, it's Lucid and I'm joined by Grippa. I have returned. Uh, so first of all, apologies to everybody for the delay in the series. I know we've had like a, a week or something without uh, any episode. Um, last time, to, to fill you in, Grippa, because I know you haven't, uh, you weren't here last time. Yeah, I got no idea what's going on. I can't wait to find out. Uh, basically, Satis is role, or cosplaying you. So they're kind of more sitting in their capital while Falegra, you know, after taking some losses, just keeps swarming them. Um, and most importantly, uh, Kalem lost a major, major battle, which was pretty cool. It was a cool battle to watch. Um, but they lost a major, major battle to Lemuria. Now, they killed a ton of ghosts in that battle. Okay. But Lemuria has more ghosts, and Kalem lost a ton of mages, and it was just bad. Um, I, if I recall, the way the battle ended was they killed most of the Lemurian troops, but then the the immortals stuck around, and there wasn't enough killy stuff from Kalem left to deal with all the immortals. So okay, they killed all their mages and whatnot. Rest in peace, birds. Okay, message from Lemuria. I'm still a bit baffled by Kalem's strategic thinking. My best guess is that they believed that I really needed that I really need containment because Lemuria, and they watched Lucid's last series with them, instead of the first turns of failed expansion by my predecessor. Huh. I mean, Lemuria does need containment. But... Yeah. Lemuria can't exist. Like, his size, he's not small enough that I wouldn't be worried about him. Right. Yeah, I mean, a very, very small Lemuria can be an asset, but... Better to put them out of the game. Um, and he, you know, he was winning his war against Storm. Another way to measure Lemuria is like how strong are their neighbors? And how strong is Lemuria relative to their neighbors? So, you know, Ulm is beaten to hell. Um, yeah. Abyssia is in rough shape. Not like a super dominant player. That's a Lemuria's northern neighbor. Um, and then to Lemuria... Who's on Lemuria's left side? Do you remember? That... Is Telegra? Oh, Agartha. Agartha, who, all right. Ha doesn't do mages, so they're not going to do well against Lemuria. <laughs> but Lemuria's. they have temples. Right. So, you know, if you measure Lemuria that way, which I think is a very good way to measure, and it's something to look at, I think, for every nation, but especially for Lemuria, because, like, if you're not prepared, like, if their neighbors aren't giving off vibes that, like, hey, we know how to deal with ghosts... You know, they then they especially need to be contained. Yeah. Uh, my Diplo is mostly consisted of begging them for a white piece and please focus on bigger threats and them ignoring me. Wiping their entire army barely makes me happy considering it removes one of the few things that might prevent jo Joman from outright winning the game. Alas, I guess I'm stuck bet uh, being the useful idiot. I broadcast to Bogarus and Agartha that, that Kalem is free real estate, but Joman uh, has also figured it out by themselves, and they'll most likely get parts of it. Uh, last or Late turn update. I struck a peace deal with Ulm on borders, you see. Uh, I wouldn't mind continuing the fight, but one, I want to focus on eating as much of Caleb as possible without redirecting forces, and two, um, they could have blown up uh, two of my under-construction forts this turn, and three, they're amenable to fighting against Joman. So I think that Lemuria thinks that Joman's literally very close to winning. I think that's his position. Uh, he might not know the full st status of things, but it yeah. sounds like he thinks that Joman's like at the cusp of being too much. Yeah, I mean, Joman is pretty good on the income graph. The, this is Jim income. So this is Joman. Yeah, I, that's what I thought that they were. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's probably hard to see in the video, but they're way up here. And then uh, normal income, they're pretty far ahead. Because you remember, they just finished Arco. Yep. And they were pretty big before that. So they're in a pretty clear position one. I think it's right to be concerned when somebody's this far ahead. And oh, I to, agree. And you have to like look who's in position two. Is it like Flegra, who can't finish this off? Is it Lemuria, who's been struggling all game? You know, probably Lemuria. But like this is Lemuria's army graph. Sheesh. Yeah. Sheesh. I've been there. <laughs> yeah. But 
this isn't like if you look how long it took him to get from here back up to here it's not that long this is probably eight or nine turns to get back so lemuria is making the excellent batman mask symbol again with his army graph which is a very <laughs> is common true. trait yeah. where like you, you build up build up take your first big Ka-thunk. fight lose it Ka-thunk. a ton of shit get scared of taking another big fight hide a bit rebuild and then take another massive fight and there you go again and there's your patties yeah so all right let's finish these messages we got a message uh from alm big updates every turn now firstly the communion worked uh they didn't cast mass banishment oh one thing i missed was that uh itimu got soul slayed i don't think i mentioned it so yeah goodbye you piece of shit uh, I don't think Lemuria noticed. Uh, he was saying in like in the comments for the last video that he had no idea Timu was Soul Slayed, and then he, it was like three or four turns later, he was like, "Where the hell is a Timu?" And then he like <laughs> went back and started checking turns. Uh, that's always feel, it, it feels so bad when you get a Timu Soul Slayed because it's permanent. There's no. It's, it, it's always my one goal if I'm fighting like a Lemuria or something. Yeah. It's like I gotta get rid of the Timu. There is one way to get him back. And uh, that is through wishing for him. But then it's like, you know, 100 pearls. So if he if he gets on the uh, hero list, can you get him back with the um, like resummon hero? I don't believe I... Ritual of uh, Rebirth works on Undead. Uh, OK. Yeah, I've never really used a Ritual of Rebirth, so I wouldn't know. Yeah. But... But I think it may ritual of re, w- rebirth may work on other mummies. I don't know exactly what in, it doesn't work. I don't think it works on on undead. Anyway, uh, unfortunately, Caleb told me they had a bad fight, and Bogarus ended nap with them, so they might not be long for this world. Lemuria has uh, offered me peace with basically current borders, but I will have the water thrown and some gems from them. Given what Caleb told me, I have accepted after. Uh, some negotiation. Lemuria are rightly worried about Joman, and so am, I, so am I. We have agreed to fight them in the future. I will try and fight them underwater, why I wanted the throne, to shut down Ryujin production. Ooh, those are fighting words, saying you're going to fight Joman oh, yeah. underwater. Not like it's impossible, but I mean, damn. As Ulm? I think I might try and get some Ice Devils. After Blood 7, I'm considering Conjuration 8 for Elemental Royalty, which I can get a few of, and then probably uh, and then probably more Blood or Evo Alt, whatever the situation is at the time. Blood Hunting to go nuclear with my uh, vampires now free. From Abyssia, Joman didn't attack this turn after all. Says they promised Ulm they would help and wanted to take pressure off Ulm. Um, they say they like the border where it is, and that makes it make sense for them to look elsewhere. I'd love to get a breather and get my blood economy going and not give that fort back to Ulm. Oh, huh. So Ulm was going to turn... This actually is really interesting. Uh, Joman not attacking uh, Abyssia has caused Abyssia to want to turn back on Ulm. And Ulm was going to go on Jomin. Does it sound... The impression I got for Abyssia is he doesn't want to fight anybody. I think he wants to turtle a oh, bit and get his blood he, going. He, could be, you're a little he just wants to yeah, no, he, was, he was killing Ulm. Um, he had, like, taken this fort from him. He was going to take this. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. Bless. Um, And then Jomin had finished killing Arco... And was a free agent. And Ulm was like, hey, will you help me with Abyssia? They're going to eat me. And so Joman declares war on Abyssia. And I think rightly Abyssia respected that. Right? Abyssia was like, I can't take on position one while trying to finish somebody off. So he offers yeah. Ulm peace with very generous terms. Um, like Ulm is going to get this fort back per those conditions. Well, Joman, uh, after a while, decides, like, hey, okay, let's not do this, right? Like, I just was kind of helping out Ulm, who has been a, a bro to me. And Abyssia is like, okay, well, if you don't want to attack, we can just be friendly, and I'll go finish off and kill Ulm, which actually is going to work out because Ulm was about to backstab Joman. Right? So 
pretty good Diplo from Jumman here, because he's about to get Coalition, and it looks like he sidestepped it. Yeah, we'll see. He might not know about alt turning on Jumman now, and that might right. change his mind. Well, my hopes of a strong anti Joman uh, alliance went up in flames. <laughs> Lemuria okay, this and Kalem. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. Uh, Lemuria and Kalem continue to fight, and now Kalem lost most of their troops. This means they're now worthless as an ally. Joman also ended their nap with Kalem this turn, which makes the situation worse. But for every setback, there's a new opportunity. After some discussion with Kalem, uh, they were willing to release me from our nap in exchange for air gems. If Kalem honors our deal, uh, I would gain a nice stretch of land with minimal fighting. Uh, right now, my gold is starting to become low, so new lands are necessary. And uh, in the end, land is land. Even if Joman stays a large threat, let's see how the situation develops in the following turns. Okay. So let's see what's happening here. This is a raid just against PD. Lemuria is very good against PD. Even Kalem PD, which has a few magic weapons smattered throughout mm. it. Lemuria pinging this. A lot of PD going into Kalem. Uh, Kalem tries to, to liberate their cap. That's a lot of mages. These guys in the little brown pajamas are mages. And they're also very comfy. What is that? Oh, those, those drops are not... Great. Rigor Mortis is up from the Lich Queen. There's a couple... The Lich Queen's right here on the front row. Javelin's probably not doing a ton. Turn on team colored squares so we can see a bit better. Which queen is in melee? Ramira could win this fight and also still lose the god, and then it's kind of like a ship. Well, the god's immortal. So. Oh, that's fair. I always forget about that. They've got. I mean, we'll put the turn timer up here. It's uh, control C for those of you who are wondering. Um. Really, by about turn 8, things are going to start falling asleep with Rigor. So they don't have a ton longer. We've got Solar Rays being cast. The thing that would be really good is all these guys have Earth Paths. Oh, these are Iron Crafters. Well, shit. <laughs> yeah, there's actually not much in Iron Craft. I was thinking these were the ones... Uh, there's some with, like, Earth Death. These guys are going to have Earth Death. They should. You put an Earth Gem on them for an important fight like this, so they do some in Earth Power, and then have them on advance and cast. I mean, even these guys with an Earth Gem, they would be much more useful as Earth Two Mages. So they could do. I don't know what. What would an Earth Ma Earth Two Mage do against ghosts? They can't do Blade Wind or anything. I don't know what they do. Flying shards. I don't know. Yeah. So I'm not yeah, sure. The problem is they don't really have ways to really clear out the ghosts fast enough. I mean, the troops are going to chew through the ghosts, but they really need, like, four or five mages on advancing cast that have a lot of reinvigoration. Because these guys, now that they're fatigued out, are kind of getting a little wrecked. Like, there's people casting yeah. Dust to Dust, Darkness, Hand of Death. No, now we got Darkness. Now Perfect we got Darkness, darkness. yeah. <laughs> I was just reading this up at the top. I saw it was Keenan cast. Or 15 darkness casting, you know. Yeah. I mean, Lemuria could have taken a lot fewer losses if they cast that earlier. I don't know what happened. Oh, now Foul Vapors oh. is up. I want to do anything else that turn 17. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the fight's already over, so now it's mostly just uh, wasted gems. Um, yeah, I think this is the main thing. You need... Um, I mean, you can see how, like, fighting Kalem in Cold 3 is actually really hard. Um, like, these guys in Cold 3 are nuts. Well, let's watch this battle again. I just want to show you how tough these troops are. Yeah, these guys are at 20 protection. Now, ideally, you'd put a few Earth Gems on these guys and also do Legions of Steel, and they jump up to 23. Like, and then cast Anti-Magic. These guys are going to be so hard for Ghost to kill. I, I don't think he did either of those things. Yeah, we don't have anti-magic being cast. Oh, wait, that might have been it. Okay, he finally got anti-magic off. Yeah, so he got anti-magic off. But, like, Legions is still Strength of Giants would have gone a long way here, too. Um, yeah, but then the thing is, the real clincher... I mean, honestly, just one Hera Belder. Like, put a Skull Staff on him and maybe Earth Boots... 
or gems or whatever for it and then have him do summon earth power and put him on advance and cast and he'll be doing like wither bones and stuff with the skull staff because you have to be death three to cast that and maybe you put like another reinvigoration item on him and he'll just be spamming those i, I mean that will change the whole way the fight goes and you have two of those guys yeah they uh they did they did their best with what they had i mean yeah well i mean caitlin picked this war so you gotta have yeah you can't anti-lemuria attack pour some coffee out for yeah. him but all right so that's a uh, the 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 rest of the caitlin mage core i think oh well there's a few more guys here these are the earth death guys i was talking about these caretakers um you put an earth gem on them, have them do earth, summon earth power, they'll be more immune to um, to rigor mortis. Here there's no army, I don't know what happened to it. Oh, they're just gonna skelly spam. Can this work? There's a lot of banishment too. It does. Skelly spam and banishment, ease clap. <laughs> They killed more ghosts in that fight than they did with the other previous fight. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's good. Putting him on the board. He should have had some on advancing cast because uh, one Grand Lemur might have actually turned this whole thing. Yeah, just really budget rating from Lemuria. Oh my gosh, what is this? Two consoles, a Grand Lemur. There's about 100 death gems of stuff. Uh, and there's a few of these Jaguar Priests. I guess he was trying to get Roll of Blood Random. An honorable attempt. So they've killed some of the Chaff, but they haven't, uh... They haven't killed the Grand Lemurs. The Consuls are moving closer. It's pretty hard to kill Consuls. I mean, I'm assuming these guys are like 19 MR, 20 MR. Yeah, 19. They're hard to kill with uh, banishment. They're going to be very resistant. Yeah, especially with the air one. The air one's not going to do much to them. Yeah. Uh, that's actually really painful. He lost two Hera Builders. I think he won. If you have these guys on advancing cast, they might have dust to dusted him or something, but. Mm hmm. Losing two cap only mages. I mean, there. I, I thought that Kalen was totally done. He's got twenty two caretakers. He can try to do something, but yeah, it, the position is lost. Uh, what would you? What would your advice be, Grippa? As Kalen is now getting uh, prepared um, for a cap defense situation. Well, he's got a couple turns because he's got no ghosts on his cap right now, pretty much, because he wiped right. them all. So he's got to pull his guys back to that fort east of his cap, and you you can't fight the battle on in the cap. I don't think like you can't let him storm. It's not going to help you because ghosts all the ghosts are going to walk right. through the walls anyway. Right. right. You, and your birds, you're looking to jump over there, so it's even less of a reason to fight that. Um, I think he's boned. Literally and figuratively, I guess. But um, definitely the advanced and cast with the Earth guys, I would be looking to just dust and dust, dust to dust as many of the yeah guys as he can. Because I don't think he has any astral there anymore now. Yeah. So you can't, like, soul slay, which would be the, the, the true, like, F you, I'm going out swinging move to soul right. slay some consoles and stuff. But... How would he? I so, think the the problem he has though is he doesn't have a front line, right? So yeah, he's got to have his guys do a couple of things with skelly spam again, and right. then just advance fast and okay. go crazy. But I think to do that, then he has to do summon earth power. I don't think it's optional. Yeah, cause... he needs to have the, the earth gem to do summon earth power, and otherwise he's just Cause... going nap naps. And... Right, because you counter this by Lemuria by just having a few ghosts, you know, a hundred ghosts on your front line that you just let get expended with dust to dust and banishment and stuff while you put rigor mortis up and by the time they've killed that you have your second and third waves go in and the second wave maybe takes a bit of damage but by that time uh, all the mages asleep. are asleep so 
Yeah, that's the goal, because they have... The, the air banishment is really good at clearing out a lot of the ghosts. Yeah. Um, so he can get rid of them, but then he's just going to go to sleep and not be able to do that. So if he has an instant cast, he could then take out the uh, consoles and shit with yeah. dust to dust. Okay. Um, I think that covers this. Let's. Uh, which conflict do we want to do next? Maybe Satis? Yeah, let's check out Satis. Okay, oh my what, goodness. That, that, this is... Hero. Oh my god. A lot of big that ass is shields. A bunch of big angry men. I'm not exactly sure what the formation is. It looks like he kind of just took everything, put them on commanders, and said, go kill some shit. Yep. Oh my goodness. Those sylphs. Don't they have a do they have a range attack the sylphs? Um, no. They're they're basically small air elementals. But instead of having trample, they have glamour. That's what a sylph is. Yeah. Well, okay, I, I'm mistaking lightning swarm for the lightning attack storm deep inside. Yeah. Um. Well, that's the thing to fight versus this. Yeah. Um, if I could critique that a little bit, I would say definitely have the sylphs on the hold an attack. Mm. Um. Because I guarantee you, all the mages of Satis are going to be in the middle of a giant blob of the. Chariots and shit. You guarantee. Let's take a look. A okay. little blob. You got a little blob. All right. I think we're gonna next turn be treated to a big fight here with Satis. I hope. Come on. Do the do the LA Satis thing where you just kill a bunch of things and then die anyway. Yeah. Uh, okay. Abyssia. They probably made peace with Jomen, but we're not sure. And they're thinking about coming back up and messing with Ulm. Ulm, they have negotiated peace with Lemuria. Um, and they're going to get this throne, the Throne of Water. Which is pretty good. Definitely don't want Lemuria with this on their... Three more defense on their consoles. No. <laughs> I'm not sure about them kicking Joman out of the water, though. I just don't see that happening. Agartha hey, with a tremendous do? amount of stuff. This must mean Agartha's thinking about going on these guys next, right? Like, I don't know. I think that Agartha's just clicked the continuous recruitment button and has slammed things. Okay. I don't. I I have been unable to read Agartha the entire game, and that's fair. Which is actually entertaining. I'm not gonna lie. I've been been enjoying it. Um, he, did, he looks like he lost a temple there, so he's got to rebuild that. So he's got a couple turns. <laughs> yeah, he's got the two provinces here that are lacking temples. I don't know what's going on. Yeah, he's even over there. He's got a... No fort here for his throne, no temple on the throne yet. It? Okay. <laughs> he's, got the, he's got a lab on it first. Yeah. Um. Okay. Yeah, Joman continuing Joman's to have... still get Just oh, getting the... wrecked by the Indies. Isn't that the second time he said Bogus attack him? Yeah. And then he just cleared out these militia that took over the province. I don't recall the last I time. I think it's I've the been third time he's been attacked by Bogus. He's got three time roll. Jesus Christ, dude. Yeah. Uh we got a message from Bogarus this turn. He was talking about how he was a little um upset that Joman had ended their war with or their non aggression pact with Calum. So maybe this army is gonna come north. And they're going to just try to vulture. Joman doesn't have a ton of... Maybe they can move it north. Fat. Yeah, I guess this guy can come up and... Maybe they can get Patala. I think it's going to be a bit of a race between Joman and um, and Bogarus to see who gets Patala. Yeah. I mean, if I'm in Bogarus... So if I'm in Joman's position, Bogarus is my next target. But if I'm in Bogarus's position, um, be scared. Definitely try no. to get as much of the Galem stuff. Yeah, yeah, but... yeah. I mean, if you're no, if you're Bogarus though, you like you got to make plays. This is the thing. You can't. Oh yeah, you got to make plays. But yeah. I, he should know that. Like in my opinion, he's the obvious next target for Joman, unless Joman knows like the whole coalition is about to come. Because like yeah. Joman is just this diagonal little freaking thin. Like Bogarus is two provinces away from his capital. Yeah. So Bogarus eating Bogarus will clear up a lot of land of just you know safety and expand the borders and puts them i think in the in the area to win for thrones yeah so 
I, I would definitely, if I'm Bogarus, be like, okay, we need people to attack Joman, and he needs to eat as much of Kaelin as possible to get it stronger. Yeah. Yeah, I think you do that even if you risk a war with Joman. You just have to go for it. Uh, like, like, you gotta get point is that I, I think that the war with Joman is going to come. So yeah. he, he can't act like he can't hope to be like oh maybe I'll, hopefully I won't be able to fight Joe. I, I mean, if you're Joe in German's position, you like where you are, right? Like you're not necessarily you know if you start your next war, everybody should come and eat you, right? Mm -hmm. So you know you can kind of count on it to a little degree that maybe Joman really doesn't want to stir the pot too much because they're happy being in position one and don't want to be coalitioned. Yeah. So. So from how the game has gone, uh, it seems like Jogman's got a good diplomatic sense. Yeah. So he might know or believe, and possibly rightfully so, that he's facing a coalition regardless of what he does. Yeah. It's possible. So doing a one-two punch on your closest neighbor right there and knocking out like the main Bogaru stack, if you could, quickly, before Ulm's slow ass gets yeah. down there. And Ulm's attacking over one province into water, which I'm still unsure how Ulm's I'm just not do. sure if, if Joman actually can win a major... Like, if, if Bogarus moves a significant mage commitment along with this army down, I feel like Bogarus has way more mages, and Bogarus mages are really good. Um, Unless they're buffing the enemy again. Yeah. But I don't feel like Joman has a ton of mage presence up here. Like, he could move Mirai Yujin or something in, but... True. But Joman can just attack into Bogarus from his capital. Well, that's true, too. Yeah, that's actually more threatening. You're right. Like, he's got all those forces north of Bogarus that are like, yeah, you, they can go fight in uh, the monkey land, but then just right. they come down, and then what's Bogarus going to do? Right. All right. Well, uh, I think we'll end it there. Um, yeah. So uh, we'll see you guys next time, turn 59. And uh, hopefully we see some uh, some new conflicts breaking breaking out. And I think the the real thing to look forward to is what must be an imminent battle between Satis and Filegra. Which just means it's not going to happen next turn, and we're going to hype it all up nothing because it's probably yeah. going to be like a, a turn. Actually, right. no, the caps cracked. So yeah, the caps no. cracked. I mean, I think Filegra well, time is, is going to. I think if you're Filegra, you probably roll the dice too because you have a good chance, even if your army dies, that like the Lace Dragonian tyrants get pissed off and storm and win. Yeah. You know, I don't. I we didn't check the mages for what gems they have to think about what spells they might cast, but I just expect to be entertained. I agree. I hope so. All right. Until then, see y'all. Peace.